Hello, Libra. Welcome to your love reading. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Let's see what's coming out for Libra and love. Thank you. We got two. We got four. Distant. Ruins. Tangled. Needs. All right. So somebody's person is being very, very distant with them. Very distant. And the relationship is going through ruins. Ruins, ruins. There's a tangled web here. And you got emotional needs and physical needs that are not being met, met here. Unable to free yourself from a sticky situation, taking a step back, helps you see something clearly. Things you no longer need are falling away to make room for you to see the love that you deserve. So for some of you guys, there may be a situation that just fizzles out. There may be communication that slowly fizzled out, fizzle out, and this is the universe making way. It's just releasing things. You're finally facing it. Finally, finally being able to face the truth, face that it's not something for you. Face that I'm going to start resisting it. So this is when you get to this energy where you're like, I'm going to start resisting it. I'm going to stop trying to make it work. I'm going to stop trying to, you know, stop a person from leaving or stop a person from whatever. It's just like you trust, you trust what God is doing. Period. In your love life. You trust it. It's a person who's come becoming distant. Let them let them become distant. Let them go distant. Let them be distant. Okay? Let them be distant. If they want to be distant, let them. I just heard Donnell Jones. Somebody need time to see where they want to be. All right, you got the death card. Like, yeah, somebody is going through this, this self-reflection moment energy where they're trying to figure out who they are, what they want. Like, someone could be fairly young or they could just be, you know, they could not have a history of marriage in their family or, or something or relationships or something like that. There could be a family dynamic here where a person is just, they're trying to figure out what do they truly want, or they don't have to be young. They're just like at the point like, okay, what do I want at this stage in my life? They're finally being honest with themselves. So they're being honest in their actions, believe their actions, right? Their actions are definitely showing you the true colors of who they are. Um, we do have, yeah, this says that there's a, a, a love relationship that could possibly be over here. They are definitely reflecting on the love relationship here. They are definitely also reflecting on how ways they, they could have hurt you or the ways that they have, they've hurt you, things like that. All right. And we do have the four of swords. There's a need for you to rest yourself. You're hurt deeply by this love relationship. Thrown off. You can have headaches, not sleeping right not eating right like thrown completely off from this love relationship here there's something that you've seen or something that they said that made you cry that was a sneak peek to their true their, their, their true um feelings i don't know if you've expressed how you truly feel but there's a need for you to express how you truly feel and leave something where it's at also, I do feel you kind of forgiving a person and um, ending something, accepting it, like, and moving completely on out of this. Like, you have needs. You're ready to lay something to rest, like, completely ready to lay it to rest. Like, so you are ready to face it. So whatever this love relationship is, you're completely ready to face it. You're completely ready to let it to um, lay it to rest. Um, there is some truthful communication and how you hurt could possibly be the the basis of the uh, communication of the conversation. There's also some self reflection with the person where you could be doing on the relationship, where your person could be doing on the relationship, and all this. But it's something that you're ready to let to 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 lay to rest. Like something has gone way too far. 
this person, you and this person is, is too distant. And then also, if you're trying to talk to a person and the person keeps on silencing you, we do have the Four of Swords. So this could be, it could be a possibility that somebody kind of like fall back or they're trying to fall back and they don't really want to talk. They don't really want to do too much. They don't really want to give you the impression. But then you allow a person to fall back and fizzle out of, out of your life. Okay? So your face, you're finally brave enough to kind of face what's going on and you're allowing it to go on. Okay? All right, so I'm going to leave this reading right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.